Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a boolean problem that came to me uh, for review and how I solve it. hope this will be helpful for you. So this is the object that I got as is, I haven't touched anything yet. And what you can see over here is, I'm going to hide this away for a second. And you see we have here a set of objects that are already cut out. You can already see by the name that it's got named that this, I mean, you could change the name, but by default, it's got named from the tool that created them. So this has been different, already used Boolean operation to create them. Uh, so they are cut out. Then we have this uh, that it's called, I guess, spacer, which is kind of this piece that is already cut out also because this is like a uh, donut has a hole over here. And then this is over here connecting. Now, if I'm going to change the color of this object, you can start seeing that this is like overlapping this. It's not really, it's basically the same distance. It's, it's just coplanar to this one. It just touches this one, but it's not really either smaller or bigger, just in the same space, which means they just, it's not only over here, but it's in the entire intersecting part. If you look, I have over here on my back face coloring, um, you can see, I mean, if I turn it off, actually, you can also see the different colors of the object. If I turn it on, you can see this way. We see what is inside, what is outside. It's kind of like flip-flopping between, you see, part this, part this, because they just partially intersect. And that's basically here the issue. So if I'm going to do a union of this, it can often fail. And in this particular case, you see it remove this, remove this. The union actually is not working as expected. So if you have an issue like this and you really want to fix it, the only uh, way to fix it um, really to make it good is to change the size. So I'm going to set key proportion and change the size to let's say 124. If I change it something like this. So now if I zoom in, you'll see we have a proper cut or if I do without this decoloring, you see it's, it's not flip-flopping, it's really fully intersecting correctly. And over here also we can see clearly that they are uh, different, um, we can clearly identify them, they don't overlap. And now if I do a union, this will work um, as expected because it's properly defined the volume of each part individually. And yeah, this is working, it solved the problem. However, this is now creating another issue. This is not what we want. This is sticking out now. And in general, <coughs> this doesn't look like um, as the design required, it's not really aligned and it's not perfect. So I want to show two additional ways how to do it. One is actually still using Union, which would be relatively easy. Uh, let me actually hide this for a second, not this one. So I created already the pieces. So if I would take a piece of block here, um, it has a cut here, I can just do resolution zero to remove it, just to show you there's nothing here. Add it actually, it's a simple cube. And then I have another cube over here, which, yeah, let's just reduce resolution, but it, you don't have to do it, it doesn't matter. So I have here two cubes, they're basically just the volume over here, and then I have this centerpiece. Now, we can see the centerpiece clearly, I did a different color, that you can see it's just overlapping over here. I mean, the inside would look good, because this is a complete volume, but let me explain what the difference here is. The difference here is, if I hide this away again, this is a well-defined volume. Unlike before, we had a cut which the volume became like only at the intersection, everything combined. But other than that, there was no really intersecting a volume. Over here, we have a well-defined volume, each cube individually. And when this goes in, the entire inner part from this is fully intersecting a volume. The inside of the cube is a full closed volume. So the entire inside is intersecting. Over here on top and on bottom, it's slightly overlaps and over here in the front side this side and the other side as well it's kind of you can see the color flickering because they are exact same size as this overlapping they're in the same space occupied coplanar to this one however because these are well-defined volumes uh self cats boolean knows how to handle that and if i do a union like this you can clearly see that the cut is done properly it accompanied for this circle uh, it made the cuts correctly here was cut correctly for the inner parts and the same here everything was cut i mean you can see the results the colors we kept the color so here we kept the color from the uh, cylinder part and over here we kept the color from this part because they were overlapping so it's kind of like random choice which 
color it's been taken. But now we still need to make the hall, and this is where we take this piece, where it created a separate piece, and this again is a simple piece, but this piece has no issue because it's fully intersecting, it sticks out, and the entire thing is a volume. So now if I'm going to simply do select this too and remove this inner piece, um, we get a proper uh, volume. This is perfectly fine, and you can see this is created perfectly fine. Now I can do resolution zero even to clean it up and let's go resolution to remove even these extra spaces and you can see it, it recognized the volume so good that it knows you can even remove all of this this is just coplane interfaces and everything's created here perfectly fine without an issue and obviously they have the different colors strange coloring so you can just go to the material section select this maybe let's say if you want to uh, set back to this color you can just select each material individually and then I can use this color this material which took the color from the other piece and I just use coloring as a way to visualize them and actually it's a good way to select them pieces based on material even though I changed the color now by the way there's still a different material because if you look over here material selection you'll see we still have material 0 and 1 we have two different materials now so um, so but nevertheless that's basically how this was done and this works okay so now I'm showing you another way which is a drawing approach which sometimes can give you better precision so over here I just drew this profile the way we want it to look so we have the outside rectangle we have the circle that it's fully intersects over here you can see over here if I'm going to select this piece this selects as a, a not material oh, I'm sorry polygon selection or face selection doesn't matter this selects as a half a piece because it intersects here it finds it as a closed path this selects properly and this will select the entire thing as one and same thing this will select a section and this is another section so everything is properly drawn the shape it should look like and now i'm going to go to fill polygon and just fill this shape and now what we need to do we need to delete this piece i'm going to use the part selection which is a part of polygon selection part of polygon selection and I delete this simply delete this piece okay so now we have this piece created as expected um, we need to add the thickness of this piece of this cube rectangular part here was 8 so I'm going to use add thickness by negative 8 minus 8 and I'm doing negative you see that the back face coloring it's it goes in if you do positive self will automatically flip the normals uh, usually so it wouldn't be an issue but yeah this for this design this is good and now I need to create a copy of the other piece uh, moving around. So I'm just going to um, go over here to the move. And I see this is positioned at 60. So I'll make a copy of this and I'll position it at negative 60. So we got this piece positioned over here. And now what we are left to do is to create these connections. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to the polygon selection. Uh, let's turn on the wireframe and I'm going to go to part selection again so I'm going to take this piece just this piece and I'm going to extrude that okay so I'm going to extrude that let's say by 10 doesn't matter how much it is because I then need to flip the normals you see this normals got flipped this is very important we need to flip the normals now uh, but let's first do this part as well um, just this part and select this and let's take this this part over here and extrude to 10 okay so now I'm going to flip the normals from this object I, I have to deselect if I deselect don't deselect I'll only flip what it's selected so I need to uh, flip normals entire object which by default will first fix the normals you see it fixed it and this is properly done and now I'll change selection select this object and flip normal so it fixes you see fixed normals if I flip again it will flip the entire object flip normals and then if I flip again it will fix it so basically it tries to fix it but this is only when the entire object is selected if you select the face it will only flip that face and regardless okay so now what I'm going to do here is <coughs> I just need to select this polygon okay I have this selected and I'm going simply to move it I can now move it simply to position zero so I'm moving it to position zero and I'm going to click the grid to deselect that polygon and now we're going to do the same thing with this side that I'm going to select, um, oh, I have to deselect this object, uh, make sure I select this object, activate polygon selection, select this polygon, and move it to 
zero. Before I move it, I just want to show you that if we're going to merge these objects, we will have to combine these vertices outside, the vertices from the inside, plus we'll have to remove these interfaces. So you can do it first to do this type of stuff, but I'm going to use the geometry clean that will do all of them together at once. So now I'm going to take deselect this. So make sure everything is deselected. I'm just selecting both objects and I'm going to um, combine and in combine, I'm going to basically just going to merge them together. So I'm merging these two objects. It's already removed 64 vertices. It found some of the vertices that could be removed, but there's still, we know there's still the interfaces and still some problems here. So I'm gonna go to geometry clean and I'll turn on remove duplicates and remove interfaces. And if we do this, we see it remove the interfaces here. Okay, 128 faces. The, the duplicates were already removed by merging removes the duplicates, but the interfaces was not now removed. You could have manually removed it before, but just to show you. And now to take a test actually, if this is perfectly fine, first thing I'm going to do is flip normals and we see we have a proper volume, everything is working as expected. Also, I'm going to remove this center line. I don't want this. So not to have to do it, just to show you how actually good soldered together is this. I'm going to add the details remove option with automatic loop finding. And I'm going to find this loop and remove it. And if you see now, this is one piece um, as it is. Now I'm going to make the same test here using resolution zero, just to make sure it's really fully intersected that I can actually remove everything. And you see, as before, we can remove everything. I mean, over here, it's also removed. You just see the profile. So let me just hide away this profile and see this is properly done. I can flip normals, uh, flip it back. So this basically is a proper object. So I actually have two ways of doing it. One is a drawing way, which usually can give you better precision. Another way is Boolean, but you have to make sure you have enough surface area that intersects. Otherwise, overlapping objects will be a problem. Okay, I hope this was helpful. And let me know if you want me to show something else. Uh, thank you. Uh, have a great day. Bye.